This video is brought to you by buyptcgocodes.com. It's a great source to buy all your codes to play the Pokemon trading card game online. As you can see, they have a large variety of codes at reasonable prices, and they provide instant email delivery on purchase. If you make a purchase, if you use the code CABIGON5, you'll receive 5% off your order. Check them out and let them know I sent you. What is up everybody, Hungry Cabigon here. I've got another bit of a binder video for you today because I got five more packs of Fusion Arts. So I thought in the tradition of yesterday, I will show you another binder which I'm working on, which is this one. This is a bit bigger one. It's not quite full, but it does have a lot more cards in it. We won't spend as much time looking through, but uh, this is more of a vintage card binder. So this is not like my best cards or anything, but this is a bunch of cards that I had sitting in boxes. So I thought I should put them actually in a binder. Anyway, we have our five packs of Fusion Arts. I want to see if we can't have some good luck. It's been a while from the old five packs since we've had anything good. But anyway, we've got our five packs. We've got a big binder today. Yeah. Let's see how we go. All right. So pack number one. Ooh. We have to be very lucky out of only five packs, but it's not an impossibility. That's for sure. All right, pack number one, what have we got in here? We have got a Steelix, fighting type Steelix, hollow. All right, pack number two. I think if we get one hit, that's pretty good, honestly, for five packs. But we have had times where we get like three out of five, so you never know. Okay, Meltan. Okay, hoping because we got a hollow in the first one, we can get three out of five with something nice in there. We will see. All right, so I'm trying my hardest to actually keep everything on the camera properly this time. Nothing much in that one. We're just kind of going for some like super Hail Mary luck when we have these five packs, but it's the best we can do. If you're wondering why I have five, it's because that's how much th they will sell you. That is the limit. So that's, oops, that's why we have only five. All right, can we get something good, please? Dragapult, hmm. It's not boding well for this last pack. There's always a chance. Okay, we might have something in the last pack. There might be something in there. All right, what is it? Bolton, okay, we'll take it. We got a, we got a hit. He's cool. We'll take that, it's not a bad one. Not too bad, out of five packs, but anyway, like we said, we're just, we're just going for the long shot that we can like somehow get crazy good luck. Not today, unfortunately, but maybe next time. Anyway, let's open this binder. So like I said, this is a bit bigger binder. This is a nine pocket one. The last one was a four pocket one. Let's have a look. I don't know if I want to zoom in too much. I think that you can kind of get the idea. Maybe we'll look a bit closer at some things. But these are all old Ur uh, cards. They're not all old, but um, there is quite a lot of the old back cards in here. So you see we got some uh, Rockets cards here. Uh, these are not all in like amazingly good condition. Some of these have come out of like bargain bins and stuff. And a lot of these I bought when it was actually still like, these were a couple of dollars now. They're obviously a lot more expensive. But we got a nice variety in here, which is cool. So I think you can kind of see everything if I put it like that. So yes, um, like I said, some of these cards are just pretty regular cards from the set, but it's just, I thought it was cool to have the, the three evolutions there. And I, I really like these Ditto cards. They're sweet. Got some nice Umbreon action there. We do have a, a nice uh, Fossil Raichu. I don't know how good the condition is. I'm not going to take it out right now, but it looks pretty good in there as it is. And I mean, the good thing is, because I'm just keeping these, doesn't really matter if the condition is like that particularly good or not. So 
they're all they're all good enough and in a binder they look fine there's not really any which are like super noticeably damaged i don't think any of these are like particularly crazily valuable but if i miss something please tell me <laughs> that would be good um this is one of the cards that's in the new set uh, one of the the special reprints the the rockets the dark gyarados so that's pretty cool that i have the original one so that would be one that we would like to get as a promo that would be pretty cool um, we've got a couple of Espeons there. This Absol is actually pretty decent. Uh, I got a couple of promos there as well. Lots of random stuff. Vending series. It is very all over the place, I know. And there is some slots that's just missing. Not for any particular reason. Um, so we got some nice old EXs and stuff. He's got this really, like, weird looking Mewtwo. He's a, he's a weird looking dude. Um, so these ones are a bit more recent from cp5 was it yeah you got one of these in every pack but they're pretty cool it's not like a real full art but it, it is a full art image which is nice i don't know why there's nothing in there um we've got a base set raichu but i kind of want to take this one out because when i was looking and also this mr mime it looks pretty bad i think i bought it yeah look at this Ooh yes He's had a tough life, the old Raichu. But I'm pretty sure I paid 10 cents for it, so that's why I bought it. I think it's cool to have it, even though it's, like, horribly damaged. And the Mr. Mime looks much the same. So that could be another one of my PSA 10 gags that I did when I showed this card. And I was like, yeah, what do you reckon, PSA 10? And I was trying to show how bad it was in the picture, but I... I in the video but i think some people actually thought i was being serious like this is scratched anything it's bent it's not in good condition that's why it's just sitting here on my desk so i was joking but maybe that was like not obvious enough that i was joking anyway we'll keep pressing on some of these ones are more recent these are sun and moon promos but they're koro koro ichiban promos so they're kind of cool don't hate them um what else have we got here very random selection honestly like i said i was just going through like i have a couple of boxes that's just full of vintage cards and a lot of them are not the best condition and i just was choosing some to put into a binder not for any particular reason just i kind of like them so i really like the vending series they're also derpy so we've got lots of cool stuff there's some old hollow energies that's kind of cool what else are we talking i love this chancy so cool nice e-reader uh, e series ho-ho promo i think i paid like two dollars for that that's actually in pretty good condition as well this is i thought this was a card some random card when i bought it but it's actually stickers there's actually a few stickers on there which is interesting and uh, what else we got random rcs grass type base set pikachu just because it's pikachu and we're kind of getting to the end wasn't as long as I thought to show all this stuff. Maybe I didn't uh, go into enough depth about it, but just some random stuff I thought I'd show you. It's just kind of an excuse to open five packs in a video because I know that's not enough, but that's all I can get. In terms of these cards, yeah, they don't really, I don't believe any of them hold like crazy value or anything. Just They're just kind of cool to look at. I like having them in a binder like this. I do really like that Raichu that right you even though it's like bent to anything i think it adds some character to it obviously we prefer a really nice one um but yeah there's some cool stuff in here i think holds some sentimental value this uh ditto is kind of like an error one it has like hollow i can't really see it has hollow over the whole thing it's like leaked onto the whole card so it's not just in the, the picture box which is kind of cool not that it particularly makes it like a big difference but got a nice play promo card here i don't have many of them so that's cool they're not like the easiest things in the world to get i guess but yeah just just some kind of interesting and random stuff which i thought you guys might like to see and like i said if there is anything which is like crazy expensive <laughs> please tell me i don't think so but it's still interesting nonetheless to have a look at so i hope you enjoyed this binder it is one of many they're still growing i was kind of counting up the old uh hollow and ultra rare collection the other day and we're up it's a very rough estimate but just the ones that are in boxes it was a 
about 2,000 EXs, GXs, and Vs, and about 2,500-ish hollows. And um, I have actually sold a box of 1,000 hollows once to a card shop. So, yeah, we've gone through a lot. Anyway, um, it's getting a bit absurd. So let me know what you think of the binder anyway. Um, if you want to see more, I have many more I can show you. Check out the channel for more videos. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you in the next one. Take it easy.